Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Christina Sayers and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, it is going to be a testimonial of why I stopped getting Botox and how God was in it from the beginning, in the middle, and till now, and will always be in it of why I never needed to get Botox. So I'm gonna be sharing that in this testimonial. Let's get into it. But of course, before we go into the testimonial, let's get into the definition and scripture. So the definition of Botox, a drug prepared from bacterial toxin, botulin, used medically to treat certain muscular conditions and cosmetically to remove wrinkles by temporarily paralyzing facial muscles. Proverbs 31:30. Charm is deceptive, beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. So when I first got Botox was in 2000 and nine I think it was 2009 I was in as some of you know I was in this semi-famous girl group called girlicious we were more famous famous overseas but that was the time that I got introduced to Botox because you know I saw everybody else doing it to be honest like I was like oh everybody else is doing it and this is a cool thing and then also I guess there is the benefit of you know having this very like non wrinkled like non more of a just a advanced face that has this Botox which gives you like like a this kind of pop if you will because it's like you know like everything is just it really tightened and really smooth for me I was like okay like when, like like I'll just try it what I ended up doing is that I got Botox right here in my forehead and I just thought I was like well I'm just gonna do that and that's all I did and like I did that for the first time I did it I did it once and then it kind of went away and then I forgot about it because to be honest at that time I was 21 years old and 21 years old you don't need any of that you know what I mean not saying that even elders should really quote unquote need it I don't think anyone needs Botox it's more of a preference right and so I just got it done and I was like oh and then when I started getting a little bit older I remembered that I used to get it and then I was hanging out with a specific girl who was getting it all the time and she would actually have it was family members like girlfriend or whatever who actually specifically was esthetician and a Botox specialist if you will or I don't know what you call that but like a, you know a beauty specialist and so she would come over to our house and do her whole face so she would do her four Forehead, she would do the eyes area she would do the lip fillers everything and she would do it very naturally so on my friend at the time it didn't look as obvious and so I was like oh, okay like yeah like why not I ended up doing my forehead again not by that lady specifically I had my own connections and so I would go through that purse that clinical team if you will and they would do it on my forehead and so that's what I did and then I started that process when I was around 24 25 and I would be doing it I did it for like probably like a year and you're supposed to get done every three months and so I probably did a year or so okay so why I stopped getting Botox is because I started to come into basically my identity in Christ like slowly but surely like as an example right and I don't really share this but I have though but I don't really talk about it too much from my past I used to be a female player that was what I pride myself on I was very proud in that area of being a female player I would date a guy and make that guy fall in love with me and then I would have three or formal replacements if so or in rotation and so for me I was very much like well you know they're gonna play me anyways and so I might as well have these other men on board just in case you know because most likely we're not gonna work out I'm gonna get tired and bored of you within like a year and then you know I'm gonna have somebody else anyways and so it's gonna be fine and that was like the vicious cycle like routine that I was on specifically and I've already apologized to the ones that I remember that I have you know that I led astray and all that stuff so you know they know who they are because as much as I want to like chuckle you know I'm not chuckling because it wasn't okay what I did like to be a female player or to be a female player or a male player is so um, out of line with God's original design and when I would turn like 24 25 going into 26 that slowly started to shed off of me because I started to see that what I wanted and what I was desiring I would never be able to obtain if I stayed as this female player and I started to just really 
run after God. So I started to really to desire God's will for my life slowly but surely it was a process obviously you guys know I'm 36 years old so like 10 years later right but it started though and it never really left me left me like the seed of Christ never really left me left me before Hollywood in Hollywood and now after Hollywood and even more so now now he's fully flourished in me like blossom even though I know there's so much more that I'm gonna acquire with him you know with the growth that I have with him over the next of my whole life really these next years and then going into and so forth but I wanted to give that as example because again one of the things that I was struggling with in relation with so many other things that I was struggling with that God just started to slowly take out of me and wipe off of me and so I with the Botox thing why this coincides with Botox is because that was one of the things like God just started to wake me up about like the vanity portion of everything of like that I never needed Botox and nor should I ever have gotten Botox and nor should that I will ever need to get it in the future right that whole portion of this thought process I was not seeing from the eyes of Christ like when you're in your flesh and I've seen and I say this all the time but like your flesh lies to you it's deceptive it's deceiving so it makes you feel validated and justified within what you're doing but the truth is it's you're in an illusion right you're you're not in reality when you're sinning and when you're in your flesh right there's like a mask over your eyes over your ears over your heart especially specifically over your mind and so that's what was happening with me and that's what I feel that happens with a lot of people I was taking it to the extreme because what happened with me is that I started to see myself and this is why I share the the other video about why how I almost got fake boobs and a fake nose or whatever and a nose job is because I started to view my natural self my God created self as something despicable as something not worthy as something not enough and I started to look at God's natural design of even with aging as a bad thing you know what I mean I started to I'm like oh my gosh like no I can never get one wrinkle like I can never you know and that's why I probably got it at 21 because I was like I don't ever want to get I want to just be like you know no facial expressions and just like you know like this the whole time but like no fine lines you know what I mean or whatever and so that's how I view myself and that is not how God views us like you know because if he did view us that way of basically being like I don't want you to have any wrinkles or no fine lines he would have made that happen for us though you know what I mean like he would have made a natural form of Botox in our skin so that we don't have to worry about that but he made the aging process from a smooth very non wrinkly non uh, fine line babies right who just smooth all the way around to then to elderly who are more so wrinkly and even uh, you have fine lines and wrinkles and different things like that so my final thoughts is that the aging process in my humble opinion after getting delayed Delivered and actually being able to see with the eyes of Christ I believe is beautiful and especially specifically for women because you see guys you know especially men who just know their position in life and who are very confident in themselves women are very attracted to men who honor their fine lines and who are just not even fine lines or wrinkles and it's just it's more even attractive to see a man that way we love it so I'm sure they look at us as the same way for sure too is that they think it's beautiful too the aging process process is beautiful once you have the eyes of Christ because you see it's like it's a part of life you know that we're imperfect but we're perfect all at the same time even from God's eyes though he does say that we're perfect so but like you know what I'm saying like I hope you understand what I mean and like I feel like with the aging process when I see personally a woman an older woman like a you know like I'm saying like 60s and so forth who has the fine lines or and the wrinkles but also has honored her health beauty and fitness or a fitness beauty and health however you want to say that I'm like yes like I just feel like it's just so refreshing to me because it's like a breath of fresh air because it's like it's she's walking in humbleness you get what I mean she's walking in the fruit of God the authenticity of God the holistic route of God that's what I see you know and I'm like that's totally what I want to be I would like to say is that and I've said this in my other video when I was talking about possibly getting boobs and a, a nose job is that that insecurity I know a hundred percent like the insecurity that I felt at the time I 
I know 100% was implanted from the enemy, Satan himself. Because when I was walking with God as like a child, when I was younger, different things like that, there was times, like there was this, even this one time where I was like 14 years old and I felt so close to God. Like I felt like the glory of God just like engulfed me, wrapped me around in this glory bubble. And I remember it was like it was yesterday and it was like the light was just on me. I saw myself in light, but I was light and there was light around me and it, all these different things. And I just felt so blissful and so happy. And it was like I was in heaven. I remember like it was ye yesterday because I was like walking home from school. I think I got off on the bus or something and I was walking home from school and it just hit me like that. And I was like, what is this? You know, I was like, this is crazy. But I say that story because it makes me reflect on that story because I remember like nothing mattered. Like when you're in the presence of God, this shell don't matter. Nothing matters except for your connection with the almighty God. When you strip all those accessories away and you just sit in it at God's feet, my God, none of this matters. Getting my identity back and like being confident in that is life. That's all I can say. It's life. And that's where God wants you to be. Like he wants you to know your identity in Christ. And when you know your identity in Christ and you walking around with your identity in Christ, everybody's like, okay, okay, okay. Like every, it's just, it's a thing. It's so powerful is what I'm trying to say. In conclusion is that the solution was never to enhance myself in that specific way. But the solution was always for God to enhance my heart. And I just pray that over you today. I pray that to everybody who is struggling with their identity, even if you're a male and you're watching this video, I pray that you one day get to the place of being secure, signed and delivered with your identity in Christ. There is nothing more powerful than allowing yourself to know who you are in your identity in Christ and allowing the Holy Spirit to move through you in mighty, mighty ways to move mountains, right? In Jesus' mighty name.